So I have some pictures here of a bearing, a shaft bearing off of a large motor that was damaged due to bearing currents that were um, generated from a VFD. So VFDs, of course, work with pulse width modulation and you have rapid switching. You can induce voltages into the rotor and that voltage has to go somewhere and sometimes you'll wind up with a current between the rotor and the stator and if it goes through the bearings since that current is kind of an on off kind of thing <laughs> um, it chews them up you can kind of picture that kind of like the way the contacts of a switch if you if you switch a switch off and on uh, you'll chew up the contacts of a switch it's kind of the same principle in a bearing if you think about every time the bearings revolving it's making contact and then not making contact and so it's almost like uh, mechanically being switched so um, this was an expensive repair it chewed this thing up pretty bad and what caused it was this brush which was installed to mitigate this problem there was a problem with this electrical connection so the way you mitigate bearing currents is to uh, short circuit it Essentially, you maintain a, a short from the rotor to the stator mechanically, and that short will short electrically short out um, the currents. So here's a little better picture. I know this is a little confusing, but this kind of shows it good. So you have a VFD. It's powering up the stator, which is switching very quickly with pulse width modulation. Um, it induces some wild voltages in the rotor and those wild voltages try to get back to the stator well they'll do that through the bearings and the bearings as they rotate you know they they're kind of good connections kind of not so the solution is this is a uh, essentially a brush or a slip ring that would go between the shaft and the stator and it's electric it's conductive it's like a big brush and it maintains a uh, an electrical connection between the shaft the rotor and the stator so that shorts out the bearings and so you don't have the bearing currents so that's the idea